drafting phase, a Lunox pickup, a Uranus, and even a Boxia. But when we're looking at both compositions, who are you leaning towards most? It's quite hard, Eterna, because yeah, you have the Boxia, you have the Uranus that will just melt, but let's just jump first to the line of Dawn, shall we? I love it because given what Falcon has drafted, you can almost say that they're winning every single lane and on a mechanics interactions uh, platform, then they're also ahead. But when it comes down to execution, Maybe Blacklist can pull one off. Let's get back into the game here. It is a mirrored star, both in orange. Okay, so rotation-wise, Ken and Wise will not meet up in the first two minutes. They will not have a clash, but take a look already. It's going to be two and two bot side. And again, Naomi, what is he trying to do? Of course, Poke. But let's take a look. Take a minute here. Let's see item check, uh, smell check, and as well as Emma Wise, nothing too significant. And on that note, I'm a little bit worried about the gold lane for Falcon, to be honest, right? Because Naomi definitely going to be hiding in that bush. And Oh My Venus on the Diggy is going to be able to sniff that out. So no element of surprise for Naomi if his gameplay is to try and babysit the Lunox in that gold lane. Oh yeah, you can be uh, as annoying as you want to be with the Natalia keeping that exclamation point on your opponents. But the auto alarm bombs are going to exactly. tip them off. Exactly, exactly. And in that lane, 1v1, Lunox and Carry in the early game, it feels like it should favor Oheb, to be honest. Not much damage from Lunox in the early game unless her items are actually built. And when it comes down to the movement speed, Carry has got it. They need to be able to try and help the Lunox into the bottom side. And I guess that's what Martis is trying to do. What they need to do as well here is, of course, I mean, Naomi needs, he has a lot of job description here. He needs to protect the gold lane. He needs to also enter the back line to find Xavier or even carry. And that is just a plethora of objectives. Let's yep. see though, the first turtle is up. Oh, given the plethora, the smorgasbord of things that Naomi has to do, makes a beeline for the top lane. And given Edward a piece of his mind and his blade, putting him at about half of his health before the concentration was up. Now, Turtle at less than half health. There's a lot of members here. Yellow Flower, the bravest fighter. In he goes with the Poissons. Ooh. It's Ken who secures it. Plus, <gasps> oh a cold altar. Down goes Wise. Yellow Flash gets him. And they put up a Mystic Field, quelling all Offensive attackers, and now Venus is in trouble. Naomi pops the diggy. Down one goes. Naomi still alive. Gets a consecration plus an edge there. But just the same, it's a win for Falcon. Take a look at bot side as well here. Zipix dealing a lot of damage in the 1v1s. Remember Oheb, early game, sure, not a lot of damage in, but after two items, it is going to be Zipix who needs to be careful when engaging 1v1. But a very good trade in general from Falcon. 800 gold, gold established, and they got the turtle, but wise. Sneaky, sneaky jungler. He gets some, 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 some compensation. Yeah, that was barely a trade, honestly. I didn't think that Blacklist was able to do much in that team fight. I think they kind of overcommitted onto that and even lost yep. the turtle. But if we take a look at the emblems here, Gani, anything that stands out? Honestly, standard, standard build. But what I do want to notice is again, we see a Diggy that is Everest, so no MP rage. But take a look at, at the engage. Wise and Venus looking for a kill. Oh, uh, pops up Poissons, cancels out the reverse time. And here comes Naomi and Justin looking for the pull on Wise. Not gonna go and engage. I think Blackness understands that they are now uh, on the back foot. They know that Falcon might push the advantage. But to be honest, this is something comfortable for Blacklist. We've seen a lot of times where Blacklist is struggling in that early game, but they're waiting patiently. They know their item power spike, and that's when they kind of re-huddle together. So this is not yet a lose for Blacklist, especially of how dis of the gold disparity. It's only 600. Anything can turn back the tides as both of these teams will be focusing towards this top side on the next neutral objective of that turtle. Yeah, I'd say it's manageable given the fact that Edward isn't actually losing his lane. Like, he's okay. And that's one thing that they can rely on. But, ooh, Naomi cuts him down a peg again. And it looks like they're just giving up the turtle, right? Falcon, you can take it. Our move is going to be down here. Let's see if they can capitalize. Oh, no, Zipex can read the situation. Zipex knows. 
Oh, they're coming in. And that's four members now. Reverse time on the Zipex. Doesn't get pulled in. They get the jump. And oh, the oh dawning God. light misses by just an inch. Oh, he still responds. Oh, the situational awareness of Zipex. He knows he was away, but he saw some auto alarm bombs coming and still pulls that ult. Yeah, beautiful flicker out of that. That was a close one. They would have been able to get the trade that Blacklist wanted, but because of that, they denied both trades. They've denied the neutral objective from Blacklist, and they've also denied them that kill. The composure. What's going on Oh, decimate by Ken. And now he's going to capitalize on that, convert into an orange lane steal. Oh, wow. Ghani, you were saying? I, I, I was about to say, I mean, Zipex with the composure, but still getting bot side. Oh no, oh hey, I'm gonna go ahead underneath his tier one. Ken forcing the issue. They're gonna clear this wave, make a clean go at this turret. They might siege it. Very low! Oh Naomi cleans house, taking down Ohab and Oh My Venus. Here Haji? comes Wise to the rescue. Haji goes down. Ken is going wild down here, and they're gonna get away with it. No punish, no clap back from Blacklist. Wow, three for zero trade, seven to one amount of kills here in the sixth minute, and it doesn't seem like Falco want to stop. Look at Yellow Flash trying to take away the necessity that Edward has. He's trying to take away any pressure, and they're going to be able to secure an objective on towards that mid side. Amazing execution from Falcon. The setup, the execution done sharply. Blacklist, why they are behind. They got, got caught up. They underestimate the rotation from Falcon, and Falcon took advantage of that. It's up carry, and right now they are confident to even somehow. Uh, invade the jungles of Wise, but of course, Venus and Edward is always there. But let's see here. The last turtle will be up. It seems like Blacklist, they are a little bit too behind on rotation. Will they contest is the question. The problem here now is Zipex is already a level ahead with the Mystery Shop. So she's going to be able to get that item power spike way quicker. And that damage is going to be felt. But here we go on the top side. Already a clash as Falcon is going to be able to get a tower out of it. Oh, got the cult altar oh already. Timed it out. But Ken is going to continue his card and he's very low, gets away with one HP. Grandma, look at that one HP! Oh. Dunning Light, not enough to take him down. And Wise is the casualty here. Taken down by Justin, and there's a pull that Shadow Snap is gonna put Oham in danger's way. Whoa. And he gets a double kill. Justin Johnson is going ham. He gets a double Naomi, and that's a wipeout. Blacks International losing five men, and it's Yellow Flash traded off. Wow. Falcon Esports, this is the Falcon that we were waiting for since MSC. The way that they're able to just make their own tempo, push it on Blacklist of all teams and be the dominant force. Now, with a 6,000 gold lead in the eighth minute, Gunny, what are the items telling us? Check the Lunox out. Zipex, two items, Clock of Destiny, Lightning Truncheon, and I believe that he is on his way towards Divine Glaive. Why? He wants the penetration. He wants to penetrate Wise and as well as Uranus. So let's see, Falcon, is this the way to go? Because they are in a good position to somehow throw the defending champions in this match. Oh yeah, no, throw them into the lower bracket uh, if there is a chance for that. Not sure if the math checks out. But something else that catches my eye is Oheb is slowly building up towards a rose gold meteor. I think he needs that, but now Edward is in trouble. Pops the Consecration at the right moment. And so far, they're, they're struggling. They're struggling. A lot is on the shoulders of Haji here. Again, this was a same situation with a lot of teams that lost the early game with a savior. They just mm. need to get to that point where the savior makes a difference. I mean, you're right. I mean, as we all know, this ultimate dawning light is detrimental on a as a defense and as well as offense. So at Blacklist, they are low-key banking. But take a look at Falcon. They do not stop, Leo. Staying proactive, controlling the map, and Blacklist, they are be the team that is being driven by Falcon. Oheb needs farm. Oheb needs farm. He's barely doing any damage right now. And we can see, look at that, Zipex with oh my Holy, God. Crystal. Holy Crystal. In addition to how much she's already shredding into the members of Blacklist, a Holy Crystal to top it off. Gonna increase that magic damage, just needs some more penetration to, like you mentioned, really get into Wise as well as Uranus. It's it's so clear, but doesn't that hurt? The fact that the Uranus and the Baksha were the last picks. Exactly. And then the Lunox You're was right. the answer. It, it, it's, it's so perfect the way that Falcon orchestrated this situation. And 
not even to mention how Ken is having almost a perfect game as a Martyrs. He's taking everything away from Wise. And to add to that, remember the carry was the first pick, right? Yeah. And not consider it as an asset, but take a look. 0 2 1, not a fun game. Let's see the defense by Blacklist. Oh, top lane here. Going to be the first target. Oh, there you go. See, this is a sign that maybe Blacklist still has some life in them because that Mystic Field, that Mystic Field, if there was enough follow through, could have been hurt. a shutdown. Could have been a shutdown. Yeah, the damage. We're definitely feeling the damage from Haji right now. Let's see what they can do with this. They're trying to clear that mid side. Falcon already eyeing that bottom side. They want to take as much turrets as they can get here in the 10th, destroyed. almost 20, uh, 12th, 11th minute. Rachel, I mean, Eterna. That's Come you. on. Yeah. Come oh, on. man. Counting. I can't believe Justin Johnson as well having quite the perfect game. He just built a lightning truncheon. And to add to that, he has a 308 scoreboard, which Ooh. in total is 12 total kills. He's just one shy off. So to 800 KP. Huge play here. Huge game for Justin. Almost a perfect game. And again, we are going to see a reset. We talked about this. They have Diggy, they have Xavier, their high ground is strong. And of course, with that carry, they can't just melt out down lords. So Blacklist, they still can turn this game around. Yeah, Falcon yeah. watched a lot of Blacklist games. They know that Oh My Venus likes to camp those bombs into that bush. So it's Ken who's cleaning up house. And it makes sense because, again, I think uh, last we checked, he was building some defense items. This might be a tanky Mardis. And that's exactly what's choking Blackest International, the presence of Mardis, the presence of Ken, the Burmese Python. You can see, though, that Blacklist, they're trying to prevent the lanes from freezing. You can see that they were actually kind of stalling it from coming in because they know how much Oheb needs that farm. They're relying heavily and banking on Oheb and Haji right now. And right now, Falcon, now they're, ha they're forced to come a little bit closer to Blacklist. I wish I could see the equipments here for both teams, but it seems like now Falcon, they are 10 seconds away to perhaps another Lord Siege. Oh, no. Blacklist still far behind gold wise here. They need a mistake from Falcon. Yep, I was gonna say one of the few ways that Blacklist can come back possibly is if they do this. Yes, number one, stay in their base, don't cross any thresholds that you might not come back from. And oh, oh almost. so close. Almost. Woo! Oh, so close. Imam almost stole that away. The KDA machine was about an inch away from getting a Luminous Lord for Blacklist, but not today, says Ken. Not today. Man, that instinct at their almost just perhaps 0 0.-ish seconds shy. But now, Falcon, with the Siege, with this goal lead, they are in a good position to end the game. It's not looking good. <laughs> 9,000 already. He's trying to use that Donnie Light to clear the waves here. Leo, oh. might be the final stand for yeah. Blacklist. Look at that. See, four members of Falcon didn't even oh cross the threshold. But here we go. Starting off with the Mystic Field. Edward kiting and peeling for his squad. A few gets caught again in another Mystic Field. I love how Savior has so much lower cool down, but now, oh, Donning Light, forcing an early old from Zipex. Very low members in the back line. Now Wise pops the Poissas, another Mystic Field catches two. Ken here regenerating in that small bush. Top lane inhibitor already down. Mid lane, they need to protect this. We can't afford any more permanent damage, says Blacklist. Ooh. And they don't eventually get that for bottom as well. Ooh, two towers are gonna go down oh. there. Two inhibitor turrets at that, and that leaves Blacklist Ouch. kinda up in the open here for Falcon, but that was a really good defense, and we could see that the damage from Ohab is starting to shine. Haji also 12 minutes in, he was able to secure that lightning truncheon, and perhaps that's why the magic damage was already starting to be felt by Falcon. Ghani, that was the first purple buff that Wise got in a while. Finally, finally, and Mind you, Divine Glaive has been built by Justin as well. Take a look at the player's goal here. All five members are from Falcon Top 5. And of course, Oheb is just behind Naomi. That speaks a lot. Yep. Oh, look at Zipex with a trademark Ruby DD play. That's his teammate. They eventually convert into a mid lane inhibitor, goodness. but they take down Edward along the way. That's five members of Falcon knocking down the base of Blacklist 4v5. I wonder, can they do it? Mystic Field set up. They're focusing on clearing the way. Uh oh, Naomi. There's a huge one up top. Naomi with one HP gets away. These siege minions, man, they're so chunky, Woo! but Blacklist still in this. Oh. Oh, as long as the more long this game progresses, who is it gonna favor here, Gani? Is it Blacklist 
with the carry to be able to go into that late game? Or can Falcon actually close this out? Because every time they go in for that end gauge, it doesn't seem like it's happening. And look at that final item for Oheb here. We mentioned earlier that Xavier and as well as carry, sure, very fast clearing Lord, fast clearing heroes. But Falcon can also close out the game if and only if, uh, because the, uh, the base is just too exposed right now. So yep. I guess they need to capitalize on that micro mini managing the waves. And now with the Lord up 15 minutes in, Blacklist, they gotta gamble it. They gotta try and steal this Lord. If not, oh, looks like they are still confident enough. Dotting light is up. No, just as much as that flicker in Lunox play was a uh, Ruby DD signature. Defending, defending this way is also Blacklist's Philosophy. just modus. Yeah, no, no, they've been doing this for years now. So I'm guessing there is still that savior backup plan. And so far we've seen that there, there are signs of life. There are really signs of life here at Thurna. Now, the mid lane is going to be the, where the Lord is gonna be marching. Falcon. Let's see the off. Oh no, I wanna oh. see the items first, but they pull in wise. Oh, no. He's very low and he still survives. An early push signs Edward. Edward this time. It's Naomi oh. on him. The execute doesn't finish oh, him off. God. Naomi got to burn and Haji shuts him down. That's quite a bit of gold in the pocket of Blacklist. But now they have a Lord, a Luminous Lord marching in. A the cult next. altar popped in. Oh, him goes the down. Base. Haji goes down. So does Wise. It's over. The Falcon has landed. I repeat, the Falcon has landed. Victory for the Burmese. Wow. What a crazy play there at the last moment where Lunox flickered in and used their ultimate. And that was it. That was it for Blacklist. Look at the passion 